Yeah, our next guest is not only a rising star in professional golf, but she's also a rising star in politics and happens to be a friend of President Trump, LPGA golfer Natalie Gublis. Uh, Natalie uh, joins us now. Here's the big news all across the headlines. You are actually considering running for Congress. That is very true. I am considering running for the 3rd District of Nevada, somewhere where I've lived since I was 18 years old. I opened up a Boys and Girls Club there in 2010, and that's been the area that I've chosen to live. And I've gotten to travel all over the world, but I always come back there, and this is a very unique opportunity for me. I've read where you've actually met with leadership in Washington, D.C., so this is not just sort of uh, an inkling. This is something that feels like you're probably closer to doing rather than not. What's the impetus for it, though? What did you see uh, in this country, and particularly in this, in this district, that made you feel like, hey, maybe I should step up and provide some leadership? Well, an opportunity. I mean, if you think if you look right now, even at the district, the person that's currently holding the position, Jackie Rosen, after six months, she's already deciding to go another direction and run for Senate. And that's something that I'm not. I'm not a career politician. I come with an outside positive perspective and really just want to serve the people of that district, and I know that I can do positive things in that district. And because I am not a career politician pushing my own agenda, I would be somebody very different and unique for a situation like Congress in that third district. Speaking of unique, uh, Nevada is one of these states that I think is, is representative of the country because you've got pockets of older folks, you've got the young people who have moved in, you've got family, you've got blue collar. It is like the ultimate representation of America. So uh, I, I agree. I think it's a place that needs to, to have to certain issues addressed. And what, what do you see as being the most pressing besides these career politicians using office as a stepping stone? Well, especially in my district, education is huge. They do not rank very high in education. And for me, that really touches on a very specific nerve, having my Boys and Girls Club. I also do a lot of work with the clubs in the area and getting to see just the education and the need for more funding in that area. And of course, I mean, the hot topic and the hot button is health care. That's something that directly affects all those employees who live in the district and they work on the Strip and specifically with those families that I interface with because their kids all go to not only to my club but to those clubs and it's a very very real issue for those people in the district. Well Natalie I've always been a big fan of you as a golfer and uh, I'm going to be rooting for you if you do throw your your hat thank in the you. political ring so thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. See you soon.